This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about replacing the clamp on the guillotine XPC-17 paper cutter. First thing you want to do is you want to remove your top crown. It's pretty easy to do. I've already removed um, the screws on it, but um, there are two, screw, two Phillips there and two Phillips there. And the tools you'll need in this video is a Phillips screwdriver, a 6 millimeter hex, and a 4 millimeter hex. So just remove your top crown. Once you get those screws, this just pulls straight up. And just place it out of the way. This clamp is actually fairly easy to replace, but the reason why you might need to replace it is um, if it breaks, obviously, if you're replacing the clamp, something on this clamp part broke. This is the top portion that doesn't need to be replaced, but this portion here is your actual clamp that will come down and needs replaced if it broke. Um, first thing you're going to do is you want to take some pressure off these springs. So you just want to lower your blade and clamp all the way down. Make, it's best to have the blade all the way down if you can because it's a safety issue. And the clamp will go down with it automatically. If it doesn't, it's, and, it, and it's possible it might not on yours because, like for instance, if this side were to break, this clamp is under constant pressure. It's being held up by this blade in those posts right there. This is to the clamp, that's a post on the blade, and it's riding on top of it. So if this breaks, that, this side may drop a little bit and it may be kind of slightly um, jammed and you may have to, if it doesn't go, if the clamp doesn't go all the way down when your blade does, you may have to tap on the side that's up. Like if it's this side, just tap here with a hammer and just to pop it down. Again, it's under constant pressure, so it wants to go down. Tap it down wherever it needs to. If, if something's still not going, you can look, see what's holding it. You know, it's really nothing should be holding it except these and that post, these and that post. So find out what's holding it and just, Usually you can tap it down. You can loosen this, these if you want. I wouldn't take them off, but you can loosen them to one or two turns, and that gives you a little more play in it. I think that's a four millimeter as well. But let me check on that. Might be three. That's four, but you, sometimes they're changed. Sometimes they're different. It could be three on yours. Okay, that's pretty much it on that. We're gonna be, once your clamp and blade is down, we're gonna be just removing this top part. There's really only four screws that hold in place, you're going to want to break these free. So you want to um, take these off. These are the four millimeters and another one right there. I loosen these to make it easier. You'll have to break them free when you do it. And once that's here, before you loosen, this is the only two things that's holding in place now. Before you loosen those, you want to take, here's your frame of your cutter, this part here, this part, and then it goes down here. This part here is your clamp. This part up here is just the top portion of the clamp. There's, it's a two-piece clamp with springs between it. Now this part of the clamp and this is your main frame. Before you loosen it, pay attention to how this is corresponding to that. I would take pictures of it at different angles close up. Sometimes they're perfectly flush with one or this one and that one. They're perfectly flush. If that's the case, great. Then you just get it perfectly flush. And then you got to look at the other side too. Same thing on the other side right there. Sometimes there's a gap where this hangs over it and sometimes it's back and and it's the other way. Take pictures from angle, different angles so you can see that left and right. Make sure you know which ones they are, the left and the right side on your pictures so you know which ones you're looking at. But the reason why you want to take pictures, and get, you want to get it back exactly the way it was because this affects your, your um, laser light and how it goes down your paper. If, it's, if you put this, because there's a little bit of play in this going back and forth, and you can get this in a slightly different angle, and then your laser light will not be in the right place shining down on your paper. So take good pictures, make sure you um, see the, how this is and get it back the same way. If one's back a little bit or in front of it, or if they're perfectly flush with one another. So with that being said, once you take your pictures and make notes of that, you can go ahead and loosen these two top ones. And these are six millimeters. Just do a few turns on each one. And this is fairly easy. Now all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep going back and forth on I'll do a few more turns on this. And th as I'm doing this, this thing wants to rise up because the springs are pushing it up. So this is why you want to have the, the clamp all the way down so there's less spring pressure. But it's still not that bad. You can have a person pushing down here and a person pushing down here as you loosen this. That's probably the safest way to do it. But, but I can do this, as you can see here. This has come up here. There's a gap in it now right there. I can push down with one hand pretty easy. So it's not that, that strong of a pressure. But for safety reasons, you may want to push down. I'm going to push down on this as I loosen this. I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to slowly let it up, just like so. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side now. I'm going to push down on it. Be careful with this. You don't want to mess up that wire. 
not too hard to push down. If you can't do it, the two things at the same time, just have someone else push down for you and, and then slowly let it up. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna turn your cutter off at this point. So unplug it from power. Cause there, there is some power going to there. We're gonna unplug it from power. And we're just gonna lift this up. This will lift up and separate from the springs in the bottom portion, this part of the clamp. And you can just lay it over to the side. If, um, just be careful that you don't see how much play you have in this so you don't um, pull it out. Feel the play. It's got, you know, you want to pull out very easy. So in this case, I got plenty of play and I can just lay it down here. If yours doesn't have the play, you may have to set something here and lay the top part on. So I'm gonna just lift this straight up. It's gonna separate from the springs and I'm gonna lay this off to the side. Again, if you don't got the play, you can, you can sit it on top of something to where you, it'd be easier for you. So you don't um, unplug that or break that wire. From there, we're just gonna move these four springs here. Very simple. And then we're gonna come around the back. And the only thing left holding this clamp in is these two, po this post and this post that go into the blade. So I'm gonna, you probably will need some pliers. Sorry, I didn't mention that in the middle. You to grab that and loosen it. And then from there, you can get it with your hand. So I'm gonna do that on this side. And these just screw into the the blade, the back, the blade holder part, not the blade itself, but the, the part that holds the blade. If it doesn't have it, you can put a light coat of grease on this and a light coat of grease in there, just so, it's, so it rides smooth around the blade. And that one's so tight, let me get it to pliers. And you can see these here. It's just got two, it's not a regular bolt, it's just got two flat parts, so you can just grab it with the pliers like that and just turn it. I'm gonna take that out and I'm, Okay, I got these two out, just put them to the side somewhere. You may not want to put them here because they could fall down in there. <laughs> so put them on the other side somewhere. We'll come around front here and we'll just remove this clamp now. And this is the part that, um, that we're talking about, so this is the part that would have broke on you. And this just comes straight up nice and easy. Pretty simple. You can clean the bottom, move it out to the way, you get your new clamp and just maybe make sure it's all clean. Put a little grease on this channel here, on both sides of the channel. Right there, because that's the part that goes up and down in the channels on the back. And we're going to come with our new clamp here. After you take the old one out and just go around here. And you, if you loosen these, you know, you've you got to make sure you want to tighten them afterwards. But you typically don't have to unless you couldn't get the clamp all the way down. Like I showed you, if it was just jacked to one, up on one side, you might need to tap it with the hammer. But you're going to do this with the clamp all the way down to start. And now we're just putting it back in. You want to get inside that channel and you want to get inside this channel here. And the back, what's facing the back is just remember these screws here, these bolts here, are what's facing towards the back. So you don't try to get it, put it in backwards. So this would be the back portion. And that. We're going to put that even here. Yeah, I don't know why it was so sticky, but you got to go down nice and even or it will kind of. Uh, uh, It'll kind of stick on you a little bit. Once it's in though, it's nice and smooth. And you can check that yourself, make sure it's nice and smooth. Again, with these bolts, you can make sure these are nice, snug, tight. And um, from there, once you get that in, we're gonna be putting these back in. Again, lightly grease them. Put that back in. And this one here goes into the, you see there's only one hole it can go into. Let me tighten those down here. Okay, I got these in. I'm just gonna um, tighten them up with uh, some pliers. Make sure it's nice and tight. If I need to, I can lift this up by hand to make it a little easier to access. Okay, they're both tight. And then I'm just gonna drop this back down. Just come around front here. Okay, the clamp's in. You can check it by going up and down. And it, it will only go so high now because it's being held down by the... It's being held by the, this, the blade, the most things we just put in. Now we're going to take this. Be careful again. Don't break, don't pull, don't tug on this. Keep slacking this wire at all times. And the front portion would be the one with the smaller gap. The larger gap would be going towards the back. So your laser's up front. And we're going to be putting that in the next step, actually. The next step is actually putting these springs in. So I'm going to put these in. If you look down there, there's some big holes. And that's for the springs to go into. 
You just make sure the springs go into those holes and it's not caught on the edge of one of them. So make sure it goes out and you can just feel it go down in there and look at it too. Just put them in there and now we take the top part. And these things are pretty much in there. And you're just going to feed these into the spring holes. Make sure they all get in, all four of them. And we're just going to go straight down. And again, this is toward the front, so you have those screw holes right there for, for this. But this is closer to the front. And this will be off to the left side as you're facing it. From there, we're going to take our... Okay, one thing I didn't mention here is I'm going to take this back off. There's holes here for the spring to go in too. You can see it, it, can, it gusts, you don't want it to catch on the edge of it or anything like that, but it, it'd be hard to catch on the edge. You just want to make sure it goes into the hole. Okay. Put that back. Get all four lined up and just drop this down. And make sure the springs go into the holes. Get it all in there and the, at the bottom and top. Now all we're going to do is put these back in, one on each side. I'm going to come over to one side. I'm just going to get it started here. You can see here, it's, it's just riding just about, I don't know, a quarter inch, half inch above the actual hole where it screws into. So I'm just going to push down on this lightly and, and start it about three or four turns just to get this started. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Okay, we've got the bolt in. And again, just push down and line up the, you can see the bolt here. And you can see the hole and just line it up and just get it in that hole and, and then just, it should go in, don't cross through, it just should go in pretty easy, you know, without having to put too much torque on it. Okay, from there I'm just going to go down and, and just lightly, very lightly, tighten it for now until, until it goes all the way down. Okay, it's very lightly tightened. Now what we're going to do, before we put these in, we're going to take a look at your pictures on this and see how this was lined up. If it was perfectly flush, this with this, that's great. You can just get this perfectly flush. Same with the other side if that's what the other side was. Sometimes they're different. So then one just like this here right now, it's, it's hanging over just a hair over this. So that's why you take pictures from this angle, that angle, side angle, and make sure you know which side you're looking at, right and left side, and get it back exactly the same before you tighten it down because it will affect your laser light. So I'm just going to assume... Um, I'm going to loosen it just a little bit on each side now, just a quarter of a turn probably is all you need. And now you can see there's, you have control over where you put it. So if you need to go forward and this is stopping you, you could loot, there's one more bolt on this and you'd have to take this out to do that, but you shouldn't have to do that. You'd have to loosen that bolt there and this would come forward a little bit and you'd allow you to push it that way if you needed to, but you shouldn't have to. So get these snug down. When it gets to the right spot, I'm going to go ahead and um, plug this in and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, with this I'm going to lightly snug it again. Okay, everything's down. I should be able to reverse it now. Just push that. When that lights up, you can just push these two together at the same time. And then will reverse to the top. And um, from there, you can hold on a second. You can use a piece of paper to see the laser light, but you can, um, as you tighten it down, just it may go like that one just went right into place. It looks like the best way to look is just on your on the red cut pad itself. There's a there's a groove in the cut pad from the blade going into it. So you want you want that red laser line to be right and perfectly inside that groove as much as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down just see if I get lucky. Huh? Like this side, see it's not all the way over, so I'm sure I'm going to have to do some adjustment on this to get it lined up. And from that, you can just loosen it again. You can tap on it with a hammer here, tap on it with a hammer there just to move it, just to get things lined up. And basically, that's all you're doing. You're getting this lined up and tighten it down. Again, hopefully your pictures will give you everything you need to line it up. If they don't, you can loosen this quarter of a turn, tap on it with a hammer, whichever way you need it to go to get that laser line lined up on that both sides. But once you get that laser line lined up, tighten it down. It could move on you a little bit when you tighten this down, so you just have to unloosen it and get it back and maybe try to hold it while you're tightening it down, you know what I mean? Just get both sides nice and tight. It's pretty, pretty snug tight on this. Nothing with major force, but get them snug tight. And the final thing would be once you get your laser light right, and and if the laser light goes out, you got to push this to make the light come back on. So If it's not coming on, you could have some grease on the back of your blade. Check that. You probably should check that when you take off your 
That's one step I did not mention. When you take the, when the blade's all the way down and you remove this clamp, I would clean the back of your blade because there could be a hunk of grease on it and that hunk of grease could cause your laser light to shine through. Just make sure you back your blade and the back of this blade holder is nice and clean. It's hard to clean with that clamp in there, but when you take the clamp out, all you see there is the blade and the blade holder. And just don't make sure the blade's all the way down when you do this into the cut pad. And you can take a rag and clean the back of the blade and the back of this thing to where there's no grease or anything. And it allows your laser light to shine through a little better usually. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. And just tighten these down. Just put everything back the way you had it. I'll go ahead and do this now and tighten everything up. Make sure those are tight. Make sure the front is tight. Make sure I'll, I'll tighten them later, but let's make sure they're all tight. And if you loosen these, make sure those are tight and that's tight. And that should be it. Once you get these all tightened up, all you're going to do is take your crown and put it back into place. Watch, make sure your wire's good down here. It's, it, it just feeds right to that slot, you know. You had, did take this off and put it down, so it, just make sure your wire's nice and close to the frame here. So this doesn't pinch it anyway when you're putting it on. Goes on down and just get watch your sides here. You don't want this to go inside of that, you want this to be on the outside of this, just like that, both sides. And when, once you get that, you can put your screws back in. One thing I didn't mention if you got your table on here, I'm going to show you I have it off, but it'll make it a little easier when you're messing with it. It would make it a lot harder if this, this, this was in the way. So, so remove this for Phillips, and that's all it is, and just get that out of the way. Because with that in the way, you're going to have problems seeing things. Um, once those are back in, you should be good. You can do some test cuts with it and everything and, and check it out. But that's pretty much it. This video is published by mbkpinternational.com.